Hi, I'm Monica Moran. And I'm Gwen Zirkle. And, and this, this is the Blue Express Weekly Review. I wasn't serious. You didn't actually have to fire Maddie. Oh, I didn't fire her. She's just not here. Why not? I don't like sitting next to you. Well, I don't like sitting next to you either, and I'm really upset she's not here. Is it just because we have to sit next to each other? No, we're talking about Canada again, and I want to say A. Why don't you? Uh, because Maddie's not here. So? So what? Never mind. In Canada... A? I thought you were, weren't going to say it. I lied. Ugh, in Canada... A? They found a nuclear missile that has been missing since 1950. How can you lose a missile? A crash of some sort. And nobody was looking for a nuclear missile under the ice? They may have searched for it a bit. That's like losing a national hero in the ocean after he crashed into a plane trying to save the world. Talking about Captain America? I mean, of course. I mean, if you lost Steve Rogers, wouldn't you frantically search to find him? Well, of course I would. I mean, Chris Evans. I forgot about Milberg News. What was it about? Football. Rachel will cover it. So we're going to talk about Doctor Strange again. Okay, I like that man's baby you showed me. The Cumber Baby? <laughs> yeah. And the guy had pretty eyes. Gorgeous eyes. So, how was Doctor Strange? <sighs> Is that good? It was so good. And now to Rachel Hayes with the Milwaukee News We Forgot. Hi, I'm Rachel Hayes with Sports. Varsity football brought home a huge win against Toronto with a score of 42-41, to and they brought home the Crimson Apple Trophy. The varsity cheer team placed fourth at States, setting a new school record. Varsity volleyball defeated William Byrd 3-0, but lost to Loudoun County and finished the season 20-3. and In professional sports, Stephen Curry set a new NBA record with 13 three-pointers in one game. That's it for sports news. Back to you, Annika and Gwen. Emily Keller and Anna Fox have been working on fall DIYs. If you're looking for fun crafts to do, be sure to check them out. If you're interested in seeing the Little Shop of Horrors, there are 10 leaves hidden throughout the halls for free tickets. Francisco Ramirez wrote an article on it, so you should check that out. Our comic artists have also started a new web series called Millbrook Moments, where they showcase things that have happened around the school. Of course, the wonderful Miss Peyton Deegan drew one about how nobody wants to talk about the election. Except for Abby Vericchio, and here she is with politics. Hi, I'm Abby Vericchio, your source for politics with the Blue Express. Election 2016 was an absolute whirlwind. The Republicans won the majority in both the House and the Senate. Senate victories, like Marco Rubio in Florida, Pat Toomey in Pennsylvania, and Rob Portman in Ohio were unexpected and huge victories that helped the Republicans. Locally, Congresswoman Barbara Comstock yet again won over her opponent. Luann Bennett and Comstock were in a semi-close race of 53 to 47. As Barbara walked on stage to give her victory speech, another woman bites the dust played proudly in the background to show yet again another victory over an opponent. Comstock's win contributed to the Republicans keeping the majority in the House. Luann Bennett gave a concession speech to, con to congratulate the Congresswoman. The, pre the presidency was a huge surprise to Americans everywhere. Donald J. Trump won the presidency over Hillary Clinton with a whopping 279 electoral college votes over Clinton's 228. Donald Trump is now president-elect of the United States of America. Trump gave a victory speech describing how America must unite, and Clinton conceded and said work is to, still has to be done, and we must also unite. Despite a nice ending between both candidates, anti-Trump protests have been storming the streets of major cities. Ralliers have been against him with cries of not my president. We have to remember, though, that although Trump is president and the country has mixed opinions, we must see that the Constitution limits our government. And if I can say, I'm so into the Constitution that I read it for the articles. Um, the next four months of politics are going to be extremely interesting to follow. And even though the election just ended, Virginia is still planning Virginia state parties are already picking their Democrat and Republican candidates for lieutenant governor and governor races. I'm Abby Riccio, your source for politics with the Blue Express. Back to you, Gwen and Annika. I want Maddie back. Her happy news was much better. Uh, no, it wasn't. This one consists of selfless children. I doubt it was the kid's idea. It was some teacher, and all the kids had to go along with it because they didn't want to sound mean. That is not what happened. It's what happened. No, some wonderful 5th and 6th graders donated their money for their class trip to a 1st grader who lost his mom to cancer. No. 
Stop being a pessimist. A realist. I'm Annika Marian. I'm Gwen Zirkel. And this, this has been, been the Blue Express Weekly Review. Thanks for watching. Have a nice weekend and see you next week. week.